Okay, RM, this is my movie room. I look around. I'm mainly in my VHS section right now. I <clears throat> also got a DVD section. I got a VHS section for Disney. And yeah, I got an NES section. I got a Atari section. I got a tape section. I got a music section. I don't know if I'll do laser discs unless there's not much I could get thrifting. I, I don't see those. Maybe I'll do records, but I haven't got any records yet. Unless it's some country or something, but right now I'm not doing that. I'm trying to boost my horror on VHS a little bit and adding my Universal Monsters. So I added quite a few extras now. I started buying them in lots because I found it would be cheaper than buying them individually. Because there's so many of them, and Friday the 13th, I think I'm going to start on that next year. Not right away next year, but in the in a month or two in the new year, if I'm on budget, I can start on Friday the 13th, and it'll go in the bottom. I have uh, one good cabinet, I keep all the expensive VHS on it. I don't pile them up, one behind and one in front, or whatever to make them more space I just do like one uh, one space at a time that's why I made all these shelves for myself and I am trying to complete all the universal monsters even those uh, odd titles that aren't part of a set like Frankenstein or Dracula so some of them are getting up there I'm starting to see them come up around a hundred bucks now so they might be getting uh, rare I don't know and next year I might start on Godzilla. There's a few more there I want to get. And the tax refund hasn't come in yet, but next couple months it'll come in. I'll get TV shows. So apparently I could probably buy maybe a couple TV shows throughout the year. And I'll do that for my DVD. And toys won't be this year, it won't be next year, but I'd like to get into some toys. When I'm done with my VHS and then a couple more things for NES, like Mega Man 3, Mega Man 4, plus like one or two odd titles. And I don't mind getting a reproduction ones because the original are way too expensive, so some of them are reproductions. Just to be able to play them, might need to buy some controllers and then once I get the controllers, the USB controllers, adapters, original controllers as well, what I need for my game systems. I might try to get Sega and then go into the games and into our toys. So I do collect some board games, but they're not in here. So that's the whole room, whole plan for the next couple months. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you're adding some good stuff to your collection, how I have things set up right now. I found all my connection parts for my Nintendo, though I need to upgrade some controllers. It's like I got one controller for Atari, one controller for NES, and I'd like to get a little bit extra controllers as well. So, slowly been adding a little bit more VHS. But trying to boost up my Steam King as well. Now that I'm trying to get more of the Universal Monsters, I won't be adding as much Steam King. Steam King will probably come later on, unless I find it thrifting. But stuff like Planet of the Apes, Armageddon, Missing in Action, Independence Day, Indiana Jones, I see thrifting a lot. Sometimes Star Wars. Don't see karate a whole lot thrifting, but once in a while something will come up. Same with uh, sci-fi. And the Disney, also try to get some better titles. I'm starting to collect on Mary Poppins, starting to collect on uh, Wizard of Oz. And uh, Scooby-Doo. And I got most of what I need for Mr. Bean. I'm starting to work on another set down here. Picked up another set of Star Trek. And Mr. Bean's complete. Try to get most of what I can. Shirley Temple. It's looking pretty good. 
the yellow stuff, National Geographic, and the 007 stuff, I think I need one more there. Uh, and for DVD, I do need a lot more for 007, I only got a handful. And end of the year, I could try to start collecting on Return of the Living Dead, though part one, I think, is a pretty rare one to find for VHS, so gonna have to pay up on some of them and then my karate and my TV shows I need to get quite a few more coming in so build that up a little bit try to get a little bit more I Love Lucy coming in there aren't many many of them so I got a couple there Sopranos I need one more I did see the last set but the freaking guy did not have all of them same with the uh, X-Files, pretty much set's not complete, it's missing season 3. So, I had to buy season 3 in another pack. So I'm going to have to start collecting in a year or two this one. To have at least something complete on X-Files. I'm not a completist, but when it comes to TV shows, I would like to have all of them. Eventually. Supernatural is complete. Games, still need quite a few of the older games before I could start getting the more expensive ones. A few more stuff on Pearl Jam I'd like to get, but the older stuff from 10 versus the old live stuff. Not the newer live stuff they make that don't have the pictures on it. Some older Dolly stuff I still like to have, but for now, trying to get different bands coming in. Ones I don't have yet. So, hopefully, in two years or so, I could start a little bit more on toys. But might be moving by then. So, this is the room. Thanks for watching. I'll go thrifting at least once. Because eBay is kind of expensive, so I cannot buy a whole lot on eBay. <coughs> <clears throat> the vintage dolls, haunted dolls. Otherwise, I would put like transformers and toys up, but I haven't got into toys yet. So, and yeah, all the crappy movies I keep in the bottom, which I might even get tossed out if I need space. So, better movies I put up top. Movies I like, I keep at the top. So I don't group them or anything unless it's like multiples and all. I'm learning to keep the multiples. I don't collect region 2, but I do. I keep a few down here. I collect on old tape. I keep them on the bottom shelf. So I don't have any records, but someday I might start up on records. I find a pretty good record player that I can use. I need one more for the Star Trek that I'm done with that. Probably around Christmas time I'll get it. When I, if I get a little bit extra funding. Go from there. My music, I got two shelves. I lost one shelf like this because I tried to cut it down but the wood is just way too heavy I, and I ended up losing a cabinet. But from a donation store, a cabin like this is at least 100 to 150 bucks. Plus, uh, you have to pay a shipper. So that's why I ended up making all these shelves, whatever I can find in the garbage. These two shelves I found in the garbage, so I just had to add wood. And I resized the uh, shelves to fit my movies. Thanks for watching. And still got quite a lot of room, but it's getting filled up. So any wood I find along the way, I could try to build a shelf out of it from the trash. That's what I do. Thanks for watching. Just end up buying nails or something in the... Sometimes I might have to go into a, invest in tools, but they're kind of expensive. So luckily I got a couple on hand that I could use for woodworking. Thanks for watching. That's where I do my unboxing. And all these posters I'm pretty happy with, except for the Dracula. I might have to redo it, but it won't turn out perfectly because the paper doesn't quite match where the ends are. So 
I've been making do with what I can put it together. To print them without the creases, they want at least 60 bucks, so I don't know if that's worth it or not. And this is it. My wood, extra woodworking tools. Stuff I take when I go thrifting, or do my food shopping. Though, I don't need to buy so much food because the family guy buys most of it, so... I'm pretty lucky that way. Thanks for watching. I got lucky I even have two aisles. So, got the most out of this attic space by bringing these uh, shelves out and making them taller. Because all of this was filled with boxes, but now the boxes are in my back room, which nobody uses anymore, so before I wasn't able to. So I just had this little area. So I was able to at least have two shelves up here, but eventually I managed to clear everything out and build my movie room. So, thanks for watching.